Hello again, everyone. So I actually kind of consider myself a luxury minimalist, as in I try to keep a collection of luxury goods that I would use almost every day and I don't buy things in excess. So when it comes to small leather goods, I only maintain three. So uh, I have my Bottega Veneta wallet, uh, which is the buy flap model. I have the Saint Laurent, a compact wallet, I guess is what it's called. And I have my mini pochette accessoire to keep all my stuff. And let me review uh, all of them today for you. So let's start with the wallet. So I'm pretty sure you've seen a Bottega wallet everywhere, right? But this was a, let me check. So this was bought in September of 2021, also from Indonesia. And it was 7.8 million US back then. So that was about $500. I think the price has increased to like seven or 800 now, which is insane. Uh, it came with this dust bag and it was still back then, you know, during the whole uh, Bottega green. So it came in this crappy box, honestly. Like, I don't even know why I keep it. Um, it's kind of trash. But when we take a look at this wallet, so inside it has the Bottega sign. This was back then when the color was still the same uh, inside and outside. I think now they have a different color inside uh, and they have a different color outside. So uh, that's the latest bifold. But for this bifold, uh, both inside and outside is the same. I forgot what it's called. I think it was like electric gray or something. It has eight card slots uh, with, of course, the usual slot there and there. And inside are two money slots and that's about it and i use this when perhaps i carry a bag and i can carry and i can afford to carry a lot more stuff um, so in times when i don't want to use a bigger wallet i would also use the compact wallet so this was from saint laurent and let me check when i bought this i bought this in april of 2022 from saint laurent malaysia the receipt has definitely faded, but you can briefly see that it's about 1,190 Malaysian ringgit. So that's, I don't know what's that, what that is in dollars, perhaps like 400, 500 US. Uh, this was back in 2022. Uh, it came uh, with a dust bag. Uh, it came in the St. Long box. Here you go. Oops, it's upside down, the St. Long box, uh, which apparently also comes with a ribbon. I forgot where I put the ribbon, but this is the wallet. That's the Saint Laurent sign. It's very discreet. I love it when luxury products have minimal branding because it's a less flashy, I suppose, but that's everyone's preference. It has five card slots, and this is uh, what I would normally use on a day-to-day -day basis because it's a lot lighter. And I can fit it on the pockets of my shirt. Uh, even once it's filled with all five cards, it's still quite easy to access the cash that is inside. I had a friend who had a, a compact wallet like this that has card slots on both sides and when it's full, it's actually really hard to open. And I hated that. So that's why I just wanted to buy something that is only one, uh, that has card slots on only on one side. Uh, this leather, we can see it's grained, right? And this is yet another product that I treat like shit. Like I would, um, dump it on the ground like it has fallen into the asphalt a couple of times it even like fell to a to a puddle during a rainy day but look at that no effect like it still looks like it's brand new quite impressed the this is why i like um what do you call that grain leather whereas like smooth leathers like the intercato wallet just a little bit of a like if you handle it just a little bit rough you can see dents already whereas like like that i mean it's minor so I have to baby it a little bit more. I have a friend who also has a Bottega wallet and has gotten like uh, tempura oil on it. And that has, that has like stained the wallet for good. It's kind of sad to see. Uh, he doesn't mind though, but I would, uh, I would mind very much. And so that's my second uh, small leather good. And the third and final one is the mini pochette accessoire. So I guess uh, it's not intended to just be used as a, a makeup pouch i guess it actually comes with a with a golden 
metal strap that I actually secure inside. Uh, but let's see what fits inside here because it actually fits a lot of stuff. It has my hand sanitizer, um, my dental floss, uh, lotion, lip balm, eye drop, uh, two perfumes, and a comb, and even a nail clip. So it actually fits a lot of stuff inside. Roomy, uh, this is where I keep the strap because I don't carry it like a handbag. I just treat it as a makeup pouch, uh, sorry, toiletries pouch that I carry on my backpack, in my backpack all the time. I protect the strap with this um, eyeglass cloth. Just dump it in there. And that is the Louis Vuitton mini pochette accessoire canvas. I thought that the canvas was like unbreakable, <laughs> right? Uh, because, you know, basically it's, 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 plastic covered right but there was this one time when I overstuffed it uh, and look at that it has like this weird stain I don't even know how it got there uh, th when it when the dent first came it was just slightly a little bit bump like you know how human skin has hives it had that bump and then after a while that bump disappeared and it left this black stain that I don't know how to get rid of and I'm a bit pissed because I thought that the canvas is supposed to be durable, but it's not, right? So I guess that's the first and last time I ever buy a Louis Vuitton canvas. Uh, so yeah, it wasn't worth the price. Let me check, what was the price that I paid for it? It was 11.7 million IDR, you guys. That's like, what is that, 800, $900? And I bought this back on in, in March, 2022. What a dumb purchase. Uh, I, I actually kind of want to sell this off, but with that stain, I don't even know if I can recoup a lot of the price back. So I just decided to keep it. But despite of, of all the grabs that I have with this canvas, look, it'll that black dot also came because I overstuffed it. I don't understand. Does anyone know why chemically an overstuffed like plastic covered canvas have black dots? I don't get it. Anywho, so that's my Louis Vuitton mini pochette accessoire. Uh, I might dump this eventually and like try to get something a little bit more durable. Just like, I don't know, $10 <laughs> toiletry pouch. But anyway, so that's my three SLGs that I keep. Uh, I am working on a one in, one out system. So I will never buy another unless I manage to sell off uh, another one. That's how I just keep my quote unquote luxury minimalism uh, lifestyle and those are my SLG so I hope you enjoyed watching this thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again bye bye